Hi everyone, lately we've been learning a little bit about two-point perspective drawing or making a three-dimensional object like, um, like a cube for example appear to go into the distance or three-dimensionally. So today I've got a really challenging task and we're going to have a go at creating a three-dimensional Jenga tower with the Jenga blocks in it and we're going to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional um, using um, two-point perspective. So let's get started, let's have a go, let's try it out and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to create, um, use two-point perspective and we're going to create a really cool Jenga tower. Okay, now this is a pretty tricky one. You can make it as easy or hard as you want, but um, we're going to make this tricky. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a horizon line through the middle. Now I'm just doing this very, very lightly because uh, I'm going to rub some of this out. Now what I'm going to do is then create um, a vertical line down the middle. This will be sort of the edge of, uh, the edge of my sort of Jenga blocks. Um, and I'm just going to put a point maybe here where the top of my blocks will go. Actually, let's come down. Uh, let's, let's move this a little bit. Okay. Here's the top of my blocks. And I might make the bottom of my blocks sort of down here. Now, I'm just going to rule this out because I want the blocks to be the same size. So let's make every block, say, 20 centimetres. You don't have to, but I'm going to make every one 20. So 20, 40. We'll go to 220, we'll make it go there. Okay, now I just need to put in some um, points of perspective over here. These are my two points. I'm gonna put a point here, and I'm gonna put a point over here. Okay, now once I've got those points, I'm now going to join very lightly um, from here. I'm going to join this point and this point here. Join this point and this point here. I'm just going to get rid of that so I don't get confused by it. And I'm just going to join these points here. Okay, now, I also need to just make sure my Jenga tower looks like a square. So I'm just going to rule um, sort of a vertical line down here. And I'm going to run a vertical line down here here to create my tower. Okay, now this is my Jenga tower, which means I don't really need these lines anymore. Keep your point though, that's very important, but I don't need these lines. This is why I did them so lightly, so I can rub them out. I also don't need these lines, I won't need that line. Okay, what I do need though, is I need these two points, and I need all these points here. Now, I'm going to join now from here, my point over here, to these points here, and I'm just very lightly going to run a line like that. I'm just going to put my pencil there, I'm going to move my ruler around, and I'm going to join another line to here. It would go all the way through, but obviously I'm stopping there, because that's my tower. And I'm going to go all the way down. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same the other side. Okay, now it's starting to look like a Jenga tower. I'll just get rid of the top bit, those little bits. And I can darken up my lines in a minute, but I'm going to rub some more stuff out. So this is why I'm just doing it lightly. Now, Jenga blocks have three blocks per row. So I now need to just, um, I need to just sort of guess this a little bit. Um, so that I have three rows of blocks. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go just a little bit, maybe just over halfway, something like this. Now, you just have to guess this out so it kind of looks right. And you'll notice that this square is slightly less wider than this one, and this one is much wider than this one. And that's because it's going into the distance, and things get smaller as they go into the distance. All right, let's create the next ones. Okay, and something like that. And if it doesn't look right, just rub it out, change it, but that looks okay. Now, 
here's where the fun comes in. This is where it gets tricky because I've now got to work out how my sort of blocks are going to, to move around. So um, you just need to decide now, are you going to start with your blocks going this way or this way? Um, let's let our blocks run this way. So my first, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make the first block just a full row. Nothing's been taken away. So I'm gonna just square this block out. Okay, which means I'd see this whole side edge. So I'm just going to get rid of those. So we're gonna be removing some lines, but I'd see the three top parts that would slide in. So I'm gonna keep this kind of as is. Okay, now for the next row. Let's let the Jenga begin. Um, I might do another full row here, but this time I'll go the other way because they alternate. So this time I would see this long edge. I'm going to rub these lines out. And I would see the three little ends of this block. Okay, so now we've got our first row of Jenga with three blocks this way, three blocks that way. Now, let's get a bit trickier. Let's start taking some blocks away. Let's pretend now that we're going to take out, I'm guessing in a game, someone might take out the middle block, which means I'm going to see this whole edge. And I'm going to remove these lines. It's also good to have, try and have a clean ruler, which I don't have, and that stops your page from getting dirty, which is happening here. Now, I'll also see this part because that's part of the end of that block. Let's put it in. Okay, but this one is disappeared, which means I would see the inside edge of this part here. Now, to get that accurate, I'm gonna come from this corner and I'm going to come back to my point of perspective and I'm gonna rule my line in like this, okay. Now you can see that I have two blocks and one piece that is missing, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's go this way. Let's take out another block. Let's take out the, hmm, what will we do? Uh, let's take out maybe, how about we took out this block? Let's make it tricky. Okay, so that means we're gonna see the ends of these two here. Okay, but this whole block is gone. So what that means is that I need to get rid of these lines. Now, it means also that this block is going to come through like this. There will be end of it here. This block here is completely gone. So I now need to join a line through here, but just to work out where this goes, I also have to put in the lines that would go this way. So I'm gonna to come to this corner and bring it back to here. But I'm going to stop at that line, this corner and this corner. Okay, and now I can work out where that block would end. We also need to just join in these little sections of the bottom of my block there. Okay, that was a tricky one. Lots of thinking going on there. And I need to get rid of that line. Very tricky. Okay, so now we've got this block pulled out. Right, let's make this trickier again. We're back to the ones that go this way. So how about this time we pull out maybe, oops, got a dirty mark on there. Okay, how about this time we pull out maybe the back block. Let's make this easier. I'm gonna keep these two ends. And I'm going to rub out this. Somehow I've got this dirty mark on my page. I have to try and, I'll color that in later. Okay, and I'm gonna get rid of that section because we've just pulled a piece out of there. Okay, let's go, let's pull a piece out of the back side now. So it looks a bit, I'm starting to look a bit fragile. Let's keep these pieces. Okay, I'm going to take out this line. That piece is gone. I'm take out these ones here. Okay, this is starting to look uh, interesting. Okay, how about we go 
Um, hmm, which one should we pull out now? Let's go back to, maybe we'll pull out the middle one again. Which means I'm going to get rid of these lines. That's my long edge. Now, there's a little rule here. We've kind of passed our, this was our horizon line before. Now, there's a little rule here with our horizon line is that whenever we're below it, we're going to see the top edges of some of these blocks. But now that we've passed our horizon line, we're going to now see underneath of our blocks. So to get the, I now need this line here. So to get that correct, I'm gonna bring that back to my point and I can now see the block that is underneath in there. Okay, let's do, um, I'm just gonna make up another one. In fact, I might take these two away. Let's have one. Okay, this is starting to look fragile. Maybe we'll keep, um, maybe we'll have, let's go, let's put these two in here. I love this because you can just kind of make it up, you see. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of this whole row here. No Jenga blocks there. Okay, so I need to come up with this edge. And for this edge, I'm going to come back to here. Okay, I'm also gonna have a bit of this edge under here. I'm gonna see it come through here. So I just need to work out where that goes. Okay, now for the top part. <clears throat> mm, we're gonna have to keep this one because it will topple over. Let's put this edge on. Okay, I'm gonna need this bottom edge. Okay, and maybe one more at the top. Let's go right in the middle. Okay, and here we have a pretty cool Jenga tower. Okay, now that we've got our cool Jenga tower, we could even put in a little a background to this. Put my horizon in. And then we're gonna um, just make the effect even cooler just by um, rubbing out any unwanted lines and even just shading this in. So I'm gonna assume that the light's coming more from this side. So uh, I'm gonna make all these faces just light, white, keep them the same. Uh, anything that's under here, I'm gonna make quite dark in the shadow. And anything that's kind of on a side, I'm just gonna make that a little bit gray, just in a little bit of shadow. Okay, I'm gonna do this side first. Okay, so there's my Jenga tower using uh, two point perspective. These are my two points and all of my lines come back to my two points. Even the ones on the inside, all everything comes back to my two points of my two point perspective drawing. So there's my lesson on how to do a Jenga tower using um, two point perspective. As I said, it's really challenging, it's really tricky. I find it really hard. I have to really think about it, think about what I'm doing, thinking it through. But just following the rule of all my um, vertical lines staying vertical and any of my horizontal lines or lines going into the distance always returning to my, my two points of perspective. And if we can do that, um, usually we can get it close to right. Anyhow, give it a go, keep practicing, have some fun with it, and good luck, bye.